lot of people are saying uh, watch the caps recaps with caps. Um, so let's. I swear I'm ready. I didn't watch it yet. Hey guys, this is Caps and Yankas. We are here for the last caps recaps of the year, uh, presented by BMW. And uh, okay, now this is this is depressing, dude. What is this? Rough series. So uh, how do you feel right now? Feeling pretty great. <laughs> of course, we're disappointed in ourselves, um, in myself. Um, the year was not what we wished for, right? We didn't make it to Messiah. We didn't even make it to Worlds now, so we didn't even place top three in Summer Split. I think it's personally a disaster. Um, I don't think any of us wished for that. Really? <laughs> Did they really to have to do this? Summer Split, but uh, we just fell short, and yeah, seems like we were just not good. Yeah. Um, on the other hand, Fnatic, uh, another BMW, United rivalry team, uh, and SKT also made Worlds. So, what do you... Of course, I know it's a BMW sponsor, but couldn't they do it the day after? Like, not five minutes after they just came off stage? Think about the other BMW teams as well. Yeah, I mean, I wish um, FPX the best of luck if they make it, and then SKT as well, because they already made it right with Faker, Faker back to Worlds. I will say, the LEC parking lot, I tweeted it already, because Fnatic and G2 are both sponsored by BMW, and because both of them drive into the studio in BMWs, the fucking LEC parking lot was a BMW dealership. It was crazy. Pretty hype. Uh, gonna watch it from my couch. And then, um, of course, there is also a Fanatic, which just uh, qualified. I wish also them the best of luck. In the end, we are competitors, so we hate each other. There were so many BMWs. Other. We compete against each other during the season, but um, we want Europe to do the best they can do, right? Uh, now heading to world, so um, especially to Fanatic, since they are one of the BMW teams, but also to uh, Mad Lions and Rogue. Uh, we definitely wish them the best of luck and we hope that uh, they can bring the trophy home. That's something we couldn't do the past couple of years. Yeah, I mean, just wishing everyone everyone the best of luck, especially as you mentioned, the European teams. Uh, Jankos looks like he's about to cry, man. Are you kidding me? The the new matches to look forward to. Who do you think will win the EU? <laughs> he's laughing, yeah, I mean, but he's crying. I, I can see it. <laughs> okay, so I think... Um, I think Europe, I think Mad Lions, I assume. I think they are actually the best team uh, looking at how they play. Um, they also showed a lot of mental resilience. So I think Mad Lions probably the best. And I think second best could be Fnatic Rogue. I don't really know. Uh, Rogue could slightly tweak their play style, assuming what happened last week. And I feel like still Fnatic is, from these three teams, I think Fnatic is like the most exploitable if we actually are willing to play champions. So I think that. Um, they should take the win, Rogue, and Fnatic should be the third. Uh, meanwhile, Rogue the second, and uh, Mad Lions the, the first team to represent Europe and also finish the season. It will be interesting to see next week how things will turn down. And uh, any other thoughts about the, the season or the year? Yeah, I mean, I guess good luck to Cloud9, right? They are the last uh, BMW representative that will fight for Worlds today, actually. Um, so good luck to Perks, hope he can make it out of the old uh, G2 crew. And besides that, um, I thanks for the prime. fans. Um, kind of feels always weird to apologize because it didn't really feel like we... I mean, I, I feel like I did, or like, at least I feel like I did everything I could to win. And I assume it's the same for my teammates, like we tried really hard, right? Uh, and we just fell short, so it feels bad to lose and it's very disappointing and it's a disaster. But at the same time, if you know you did your best, you don't feel as bad. So at least the feeling after the loss is that I tried and we tried and... Yeah, I mean, they were just better, right? And we will look to come back stronger next year. Um, but I think that's going to be it for us this year. So, see you next year. Oh my god, that was a depressing video. Why did I watch that? Holy shit.